you guys are unclean and uncircumcised. Read that. Now, are, are you unclean in Christ? I look for okay, but what about the verse that we're all the same in Christ? We are we're all the Jew, same. That's, that's whether we're Jew or Gentile, whether, whether we're male or female. Because of the Israel. And Israel because scatters. Of the Israel. Because it, the Greeks... Whether you, you're Jew or Gentile? The, so, yeah, the Gentiles... You're the same. The, no, Gentiles, no, 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 Gentiles. the Gentiles he's talking to are Israelites. Yeah, they're Israelites. Israelites. Now, listen, I, I listen, listen, the listen, 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 uh, listen. I because just these you. people are living amongst the I, real Gentiles. Give me 1 Corinthians 12 and 1, bro. Let me read this for you. Right. Now, because Paul tells you you're not a Gentile. Right. Now, concerning spiritual gifts... Now, now what we're telling you is a gift. It's a gift from the most high, okay? I would not have you ignorant. No, we don't want you to be ignorant, okay? We want you to know the truth. You know that ye were Gentiles. That ye were Gentiles. Paul said he was saying this to where Corinth? Where's Corinth? Is that a Jewish state? That was a Greek state. Corinth, it was a city state. Greece. Oh, you been to Corinth? But read that again. <laughs> you know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. So he said you so he said you were a Gentile. So if you were a Gentile, that means you're not a Gentile any longer, right? I mean Didn't that Christ said he came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel? He just read it. So you you can't okay. get it because it's I new. Gotta, That's what I was I trying to say. You know a lot to understand. Um, you know the scripture said. Me, I've read, I've read a fair share of the Bible. So don't but you ain't, you ain't, you ain't had a man break it down to you, right? You gotta have a man. A man. A man. A man. A man. No, 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 no. A man of the Lord. A man of the Lord. Okay, a woman of the Lord can break it down. Can you testify or do you know? All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Thank you. Are you a Gentile? Still a Gentile? Still a Gentile? Yes, I am. Okay. She's not. That's a goddamn Edomite. That bitch went too for them. That bitch been there. Only Edomites doing that now. So you read the scripture. First we read uh, Matthew that said he only came for Israel. And then we asked her if she's an Israelite. She said, I'm a Gentile. Mm. Then we read her a scripture that says, ye were Gentiles, yeah, which yeah. means you're not a Gentile no more. Yeah, yeah. So we asked her if she's still a Gentile. She says, yes. Yeah. So... So yeah, according to her, A's or K's and uh, one, look at that guy. sixteen cats bark. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stop sign, say go. Yep. It's like the old saying. I say it all the time. You are gonna piss me and piss on me and tell me it's raining, but I'm not gonna believe you. I heard that. If the Bible says something, I'm gonna believe what that says. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yeah, you, you explain it to him as clearly as possible. It didn't get no more clear than that. Right, man. Good call. It don't get no more clear. She had a fair share. She went no, because uh, I'm going to break that down right here. Well, she need to get is a fair share of an Israelite man. That's, That's Israelite she, dick. That, yeah, Israelite dick up in that bitch. <laughs> That's what you need for a pretty hoe. I'll fucking break that bitch. Malachi 4 and 4. Now, we all know Christ is only 10. The Israel. Yeah. Israel, Most High made a Yahweh made a promise to the Israelites, they was going off. Most High knew that though, it was already told. Malachi 4 and 4. Remember ye the law of Moses. Oh, the Bible said to remember the law of Moses. Let me ask, do y'all remember the law of Moses? Who out here remember the law of Moses? Tell me one of the laws. You know a law? What's the, uh, y'all heathens, you don't know the Bible. Are y'all Muslims? Where y'all from? Pakistan. Yeah, we only dealing with we dealing with Israel. You a heathen? That's what it means. You a heathen? He, no, nah, he was an Israelite. Yeah. Might be Bahamas. He uh, he's talking about dog. <laughs> he's an Israelite. He got mad. He's like, what if I was a heathen, motherfucker? <laughs> I said, I, I said he was from Pakistan. He got mad as oh, fuck. Oh, that what he said? <laughs> he's oh, like, yeah. so what if I was, motherfucker? But you know, a lot of our people in Pakistan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, like Israel never fucked some Pakistani hoes before. We don't fuck. Don't, we don't fuck every woman under the sun. Israel done had sex with all nations. The Israel, the Pakistani hoes. The Bible names all the nations we had sex with in the Ezra's the ninth chapter. It says we fucked everybody. You know, it tells you right there in the Bible. Even Hamite. Yeah, even Hamite. Did they bring King David and Hamite? Oh, no. She was, she was, uh, uh, not, she was Israelite. Come on. It's a, it's, it's a one of the, uh, one of the certain tribes. 
probably even hard to know. That's a good question. Well, I shall study that. <laughs> When Moses was packed, gave the law out, he only gave it to the Israelites. The Lord just got done killing the Egyptians. So you want to tell me he gave the law to everybody when he just killed the Egyptians? Keep going. Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming, the great and dreadful, and the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Yeah, that's talking about John the Baptist. Because y'all didn't know reincarnations in the Bible. That's right. Reincarnations in the Bible. John the Baptist was Elijah. That's in the Bible. A little Bible tip for you. Something you didn't know. You learned something. Be happy. <laughs> he shall turn the heart of the father to the children and the heart of the children to their father. I'll come and smite the earth with a curse. So the Lord's about to smite this earth with a fucking curse. Look at these faggots campaigning for Obama. Fucking fags, man. Y'all you people that support Obama, man. I hate that motherfucker, man. Y'all gotta be ashamed of yourself, man. Yeah, if you support Obama, you're a dumbass. If you support Barack Obama, yeah, if you support, you, you gotta have mental retardation to support that baby killing, crack smoking faggot. Baby sucking dick. Yeah, he's a fucking child molester too. Eat him up. Goddamn eat him up. There's nothing I hate worse than a goddamn eat him up. There ain't nothing worse than a goddamn. Cock-sucking Edomite. <laughs> you don't know what an Edomite is, do you? Uh, what's that? What's an Edomite? Edomite is a so-called white man. And he's not white, he's red. Yeah, go Google Edom. E-D-O-M. Google it. E-D-O-M. Google that shit. What up, ho? <laughs> See, the hoes like this stuff. <laughs> they like it. They the women, they respond to a, to a loud voice. You know what I'm saying? When a man speaks with a loud voice, the women shut the hell up. They ain't got shit to say when you raise your voice. That's why you men, most men talk like little girls now. That's why you got women running all over you, fucking your life up. You know what I'm saying? But we see when a man talks loud like a lion. Bruh. No, you see the woman just go like this. That's <laughs> because they don't call us Lord no more. Yeah, cause. Oh yeah, my fault. Go ahead. I'm gonna touch you, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. I'm fucking up your spirit. I'm not. Uh, cut people off. It's not worse than getting cut off when you about to say something fire. Someone cut you off like an asshole. I'm just saying. Lord, they don't even call us lords no more, man. They got into that, that Gentile state of mind, man. Carried away into that Gentile oh, state of mind. We was watching Robin Hood last night with, uh... <laughs> the old one? No, 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 with, uh... The new one? Yeah, with, uh, that Ridley Scott movie with, uh, the dude from Gladiator in it. What's his, Russell Crowe? Yeah, Russell Crowe. But the, woman, the women in that movie was in check, bro. Yeah. She was calling him, uh, deer and this and that. That was the moment she got shot at the end, right? She oh, yeah. She oh, yeah. She tried to battle. She got fucked up. That's what would really happen if a woman went to battle. <laughs> she get fucked up. As soon as she went into battle, she got blasted. Like, bam. Yeah, right away. Yeah, I was watching that King Arthur movie. Fuck that movie, man. You watch that King Arthur movie, the end, Winterbeard, like killing people, chopping them up. All right, let's get out of here, man. Ain't no woman warriors. Can't women fight. Y'all know America's about to be destroyed by God? Check that shit out. Look into that. Yo, God fair Christian. What this cat sex faggot? Yeah, what a crock of shit that is, man. God being Christian. Bunch of liars. Motherfuckers don't believe in the Bible. Bunch of guys. Here it is, everybody always talks about they study the Bible. Here it is, they keep. They even say they're Gentile order. You know what? I got more. I got more respect. I have more respect for a prostitute. And a crackhead, you know what I do have for these Christians in these churches? I got more respect for a fucking hoe than I do for a bitch that's in a church. 
there's at least at least some hoes that admit they hoes. You know what I mean? Yeah, these bitches in these churches, they pretending like uh, Yo, they special. Day, when they hoes, they fucking a preacher. They fucking they yeah, fucking their husband, the fuck preacher. Yeah, preacher. Yeah, cause adultery runs rampant in America. And soon all these women gonna get put back in their place. Ain't gonna be no more adultery. Ain't gonna be no more adultery. That's right. Punk ass fire truck. Oh, when the Lord brings his fire, y'all ain't gonna be able to put that fire out. When the Lord come back and he bring the fire, the fire department cannot put that fire out. That's right. it, it's gonna burn, baby, burn. Would you want to go with it? Yeah. Those are Masons. They're part of the brotherhood. Yeah, they are part of the brotherhood. You know, a lot of them firefighters, they have hazing ceremonies, too. A bunch of facts. Just like the fraternities, they have hazing ceremonies. Police officers. When they make, you got to get fucked in your ass to be part of the fraternity. Police fraternities. Yeah, police, too. You won't be a cop. You got to suck someone's dick. They got all kind of little gay games they play with the rookie yeah. cops. Yeah. Hey, like, hey, like, hey, guys, we got a rookie on the job today. Oh. You know, they be fighting over who get their hey. dick sucked for. Hey. <laughs> and the handcuffs in Columbus College. Oh yeah, Coleman, he's a big faggot. Big coat sniffing. American Patriot right here. Oh, what's up, brother? How's it going, my man? What's up, man? I like your yarmulke. Yarmulke? Or whatever it is. That's my garment. That's my that's my holy garment right there. Actually, this is my holy garment. You're an Israelite. Uh, you're an Israelite. No. You're not. Oh, yeah, you're, you're a great American. Are you a great American? American? You're either, Mike. I, I basically, uh, uh, and non-denominational, uh, believe in God. Believe in God. Believe in Jesus. I know what, I guess you might say that. Yeah. At least you got enough sense to know that churches are full of shit. That's why you don't go to church, right? How'd you know I didn't go? I don't yeah. know. Oh, you just said you was non-denominational. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in other words, I, I don't really, there's 130 in the phone book. I checked the phone book. Oh, yeah. There's 130. None of them know anything. They don't even know the Bible, you know? You know, all these churches, no matter if they're Lutheran, Baptist, Catholic, Seventh-day Adventist, Jehovah Wickedness, they're all set up by the government to control people, to control your mind. That's why they set up. It's a CIA operation. Let me read the scripture Go ahead. This is um, Hebrews 9 and 24. For Yahweh Shai is not, that's the Lord's real name in ancient Hebrew. For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, yep. which are the figures of the truth, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of the Most High for us. Yeah, so the Lord, he's not in those buildings, you know? No, no. I got to Actually, we're the temple. The temple, the, yeah, the Lord said, ye are the temple of God. That's why he said when you go out, uh, when you speak, it has to be to who speak of my name. Right, but, like witness. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, the Lord said, Wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, I'm there with you. There's all lots of us out here. But we in the spirit right now. So we in church right now. Your huh. picture got us alive. Oh, that's it. I remember this homosexual. Yeah, he's a mom. Big old faggot. Yeah. Goddamn, that, your, your tear. You going to tear. That's a tear. Can I, can I ask you, uh, when you call these churches, weeds. Weeds. when you calling them churches, what would you ask? What would you ask them churches when you call them up? Probably well, we're gonna give you some truth, all right? Cause you, we had, he asked you if you was an Israelite. You said no. Well, we gotta correct that. You know, you know who the Lord came for. You say you believed in Jesus, right? Yeah. Who, who did Jesus come to save? Don't say other God. Definitely not the answer. You know, it's best I can. Well, well, okay, what is a sin? Let me get that for you. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll give you a, the biblical definition of sin. Because there's only, only one people can sin, and that's the Israelites. Only Israelites can sin. Because sin is when you break the law of Moses. And the laws of Moses was only given to Israel. It wasn't given to the Egyptians. God killed the Egyptians. He gave the law to Israel. Okay, now check this out. 
1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Okay? And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins. Because we was given a law from Moses. Okay? And we're all wicked as can be. We can't keep the law. So we had to have the Lord come to save us. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it says this. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins. And in him is no sin. You see that? So the right. Lord kept the laws of Moses perfectly. He never committed a sin, not one sin in his life. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Here you go, John, uh, John 17 and 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Yep. So the Lord's only praying for Israel. And not only that, but only the elect of Israel. Because two-thirds of Israel is going to be destroyed. But, so, yeah, so the Lord's only dealing with a, uh, a small percentage. That's right. Okay. That he's going to teach and instruct. Okay. What scripture do you read out of? We're covering King the value James. of the book. King James. Oh, well, thank you. That's the one I, that's the one I carry in my backpack. That's King James. Yeah, because yeah, most of them. Are you familiar with the Apocrypha? I've heard. It's, this is the Apocrypha. These were books that were taken out of the, the Bible. The King, it was. Okay. They were taken out of it during the round of 1700s, maybe. 1700. Well, right. it depends right. on where you was at. By Rosicrucians, you know? Yeah. Because uh, in the original 1611 King James, these books were in there and then they took them out. It's still in the Catholic Church. Yeah, it's still in there. They got a jacked up translation of it. The King James oh, translation. Yeah, they got a couple scriptures they ain't in there. Oh, they took out the women's scriptures. They took all them out. They took them out. Yeah. These a lot women of are the ones that fill these churches up. Yep. These women are the ones that really build those houses for those uh, preachers. You know, I, those fine cars they drive. It's the women that are, you know, providing the income. They get so, that working. The Lord called it uh, these churches harvest houses. Heart that's, houses. In, that's in Jeremiah. You know, women so emotional. They just they just get emotional by words. And you you tell them anything. They love hearing a feel good message. What? It's but really you easy. Can't, you can't fool a, a wise man. They, just tell them anything. See that? Because it's easy to manipulate a woman. That's why you go see all these pimps and they pimp these prostitutes out. Because women are easy to manipulate. Just like the serpent in the garden of Eden went to Eve. He didn't go to Adam first, he went to Eve. And then Adam was uh, uh, tempted by his wife because he loved her. You know what I mean? Yes. Look at that. So that, and that's how the government uses the women today. They use the woman to, uh, to uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? So weaken the man, to deduce the man, that's a good one. Yeah, to subjugate the man. Subjugate. To subjugate. Well, I have two ex-wives and I know about how they, 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 can, they can really rock, rock you and, they, uh, and then in the process, they break every law in the Bible in the process. And in this society, an adulterous woman can be rewarded with child support. A woman can commit adultery on you and then break up with you, force you to pay child support. And if you don't pay it, you go to jail. But the Bible says an adulterous woman gets put to death. Here you go right it doesn't here. say she's supposed to get rewarded for it. Here you go right here. Jeremiah 5 and 7. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. Yes, I had to give. <laughs> when I had fed them to the full, they then committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlot houses. In the harlot houses. you go assemble, you assemble in the churches. That's how we know that's talking about these churches. And that, it, it ain't just the churches. Right. Anywhere where these fools gather together, it's <laughs> a harlot house. Well, thank you for all, all the Bless you. Oh, we just getting started. You ain't heard but a little tiny grain, <laughs> a little pebble. Well, keep keep the word going. Well, you experience well, we'll have to because of Bless uh, you. Bless you all. Well, well you, know, Christ you know, said, Christ said, he had whoever keeps the, uh, whoever do my, whoever do the work into the end, shall be rewarded. You got to do this until the yeah, end. So you supposed to be out, if you was really in the spirit, you supposed to be out here with us teaching. That's what you supposed to do. You know what I mean? You hate this world? I, uh, yes, I. <laughs> I hate this flesh because this flesh is. I, I do things. I still. I just had two beers. Uh, That's all right. You can drink. <laughs> the Lord drank. Nothing wrong with drinking. Yeah. yeah. No wrong with drinking. Uh, yeah. I you know. got a pork chop. It, it's just. It, it's in the Bible uh, with moderation. You know. You do yeah. things in moderation. Yeah. And uh, I was going to stop at one, but I had two. I just stop at two. <laughs> like, I don't. I, you don't I need to feel bad about getting bad. wasted, bro. No, you feel bad. Do you eat pork? Sometimes. Well, that's I, what you need to quit. Yeah, exactly. 
quit the pork. You can don't worry about the beard. Leave the pork alone. Sausage. That's if you care about your health. Chitlins. You know, uh, the bottom feeders like catfish, oh, yeah. shrimp, lobster. Flour. You know that's, that's in the bar? Yeah. The laws in Leviticus on the diet. Yeah. Do you know in the Old Testament, this is something I read long ago, and you're supposed to eat 80% fruit and vegetables right. and 20% right. meat and nuts. Meat and nuts. Well, yeah, well, well, back, well in the ancient world, they didn't have the luxury of eating meat everywhere. These people, these people today, I mean, they eat meat every day. Back in the ancient world, yeah, they eat out of your own cattle. How long the meat been dead? But they oh yeah, oh there's a lot. You're, yeah, you're not allowed to eat meat as older than three days either. You know, so these people they eating frozen know, hamburgers. Well, you know, these food know. this grocery store is just some old shit. Oh, before it even get to the grocery store, it's already six days. You know what I heard on the TV? From different countries, they're shipping the beef frozen in ships 